And here at Tropicana Field, the Orioles concluded the 2017 season with a 6-0 loss to the Rays. Rays a three-game sweep over the weekend. And, Mike, now the planning for next year begins, and it begins in earnest because there are a lot of things on this team that uh, Dan Duquette in the front office would like to improve. And at the start is the starting pitcher. Hey, you got that right. And, uh, boy, what a way to end the season. A real disheartening way. A tough September getting swept here by the Rays and the strikeouts. Uh, boy, did they mount. And you could tell this team was ready for the offseason. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting how they go about getting their starting pitching. There are some potential free agents looming for next year's season and uh, possible trade candidates there to bolster maybe the pitching staff. So it'll be interesting to see how the Orioles work things out. But uh, I think finishing the season healthy is important, and these guys can have a strong offseason, make themselves better, and and uh, hopefully look forward to a, a productive offseason. Now, the other aspect of this team, uh, it certainly has power. There's no doubt about that. And it's a play for the big inning team. But the question is, should more players be brought into the organization that are more contact hitters and get on base, table setters? Well, it, it would be nice to have a an offense that uh, you could win different ways mm -hmm. with. You know, maybe a little small ball, maybe some speed in there. I know Buck Showalter talked a lot about the Cleveland Indians lineup, and he loves the fact to have switch hitters through there. Mm -hmm. Now, the Orioles didn't have that uh, kind of weapon in their lineup. Of course, Santander, a young player now, could potentially be that guy next year. Um, so uh, they may be targeting the switch hitters. They may be targeting some speed right there. But it would be nice if it would be uh, more than a one-dimensional offense because if the Orioles don't hit home runs, they just don't score. Well, and the Orioles' bullpen also wasn't the usual strength that it is for this team. And, Mike, I think that's in large part because of the ineffectiveness of the starting rotation. The bullpen had to work so many innings. And with Zach Britton hurt for a majority of the year, Year, it really wasn't the same. That's an area that should improve for next year. Yeah, I, for sure. And then Zach Britton healthy, I think, is going to be a huge key to stabilizing the bullpen. There was a lot of uh, moving around in the bullpen to start the season off. Uh, you know, hope Zach Britton's healthy next year because yeah, there are some big arms out there that, and they can, you know, really lock in and have another strong season. The bullpen has always been a strength of this team. I'll see you in spring training. How about that? Yeah, I like it. See you All then. right. So from Tropicana Field, that's a wrap on the 2017 season.